Hello and welcome. Today let's learn how to automatically compute interest on loans or advances using Tally Prime. Let's say you operate an overdraft or OD account from the bank. You would be required to pay interest on your withdrawals. Or let's say you charge interest from your clients if they don't make payment within the time limit. In this video, let's understand how to automatically compute interest on these transactions. If you have a veiled loan, you would be paying interest and such interest would be an expense for you. When you charge interest from your clients on their outstanding dues, it would be an income for you. In this video, let's see how to account all these transactions. First, let's understand how to enable this feature in Tally. Then let's learn how to compute interest as well as create voucher for the same. I have split this into two parts. In the first part, we will understand how to create voucher when interest is an expense. In the second part, let's create voucher when interest is an income. But before that, let's quickly understand the steps involved. First step would be to enable interest calculation, then view interest calculations report. In the end, creation of vouchers. Let's now see what vouchers are we going to create today. First, interest as expense, then interest as income. Let's say you operate a bank overdraft account. You would be paying interest on your withdrawals. We'll see how to create voucher for interest on overdraft. Next, interest as income. Let's say you are into supply of goods and you charge interest from your clients on their outstanding dues if the payment is not made within the time limit. Let's see how to create voucher for the interest that you have to receive. But before we create these vouchers, Let's first enable this feature in Tally. For this, from Gateway of Tally, click on Company, Features, select Yes for Show More Features and Yes for Show All Features. In the Accounting section, in the field Enable Interest Calculation, select Yes. In the first part, Let's consider interest on OD. This is the OD account that I have created, State Bank of India OD. And for the first quarter, that is April to June 2022, these are the transactions that I have created. First one is the transaction for payment that has been made from the OD account, which is for 2 lakhs. Then there are two receipts. First one is 1 lakh and the second one is 75,000. Let's now see how to compute interest for these transactions. But before that, let's understand how this OD account is configured in Tally. For that, from Gateway of Tally, select Alter, Ledger, State Bank of India OD. This is grouped under Bank OD account. Activate interest calculation is set to Yes. Calculate interest based on is set to Voucher date. In the field include transaction date for interest calculation, for amounts added and for amounts deducted, select yes. Rate is set at 12% per calendar year and select all balances. Press enter and accept. Let's now view interest calculation report. For this, from main screen of tally, select display more reports, account books, Cash bank books, select the OD account, here I have selected State Bank of India OD, click on date and change the period, here I have selected April 2022 to June 2022, click on change view and select interest calculations. This is the interest that is automatically computed for the transactions that we have created. Let's now see how to create voucher for this interest liability. For this, from Gateway of Tally, select Alter, Voucher Type, Credit Note. In the name of class field, enter Simple Interest and press Enter. Use class for interest accounting is set as Yes. Amounts to be treated as compound interest is set as No. If you would like to enable compound interest, you may select Yes. Here I have selected No. Press Enter and Accept. Then from Gateway of Tally, select Vouchers, click on Other Vouchers. 
Under credit note, select simple interest class. Click on date and enter the voucher date. Here I have entered 30th June 2022. Select the name of the OD account. Here I have selected State Bank of India OD. Enter relevant information. Accept party details. Interest amount is automatically filled. Enter relevant information in the bank allocation screen and debit to the interest account. Here I have created interest on OD. Press yes and accept. Now if we view the OD account, the balance is increased to the extent of the interest liability that we have just created. Let's now move to the second part and see how to create voucher to account interest on outstanding dues from clients. This is the vendor account that I have created and these are the transactions for the first quarter of 2022. First is the sales transaction and then next is receipt of 1 lakh. Let's now see how much interest is payable on these transactions for first quarter. From gateway of tally, select alter, ledger, select the ledger account, here it is PQ Enterprises. This is grouped under sundry debtors. Activate interest calculation is set as yes. Calculate interest transaction by transaction is set as yes. Override parameters for each transaction is set as no. In the field include transaction date for interest calculation, for amounts added and for amounts deducted are set as yes. Rate is set as 10% per calendar year on all balances. Click on configure. In the use advanced interest parameters field, select yes. Here in the applicability field, select past due date by 7 days and calculate from is set as date of applicability. This means if the client does not make payment within 7 days, then from 8th day onwards, interest at 10% per calendar year would be computed. Here I have selected rounding as not applicable. Press yes and accept. Let's now view interest calculation report. For this, from gateway of tally, select display more reports, account books, ledger and select the name of the client. Here it is PQ Enterprises. Click on period and select the period. Here I have selected April 2022 to June 2022. Click on change view and select interest calculations. This is the interest that is automatically computed. If you notice here, interest is calculated from 8th April, that is from 8th day up to 30th June at 10%. Let's now create voucher to account interest income. From gateway of tally, select alter voucher type credit note. In name of class field, enter simple interest. Use class for interest accounting is set as yes. Amounts to be treated as compound interest is set as no. Press yes and accept. From gateway of tally, select vouchers. Click on other vouchers. Under debit note, select simple interest class. Enter the date. Here I have entered 30th June 2022. Select name of the client that is PQ Enterprises here. In the interest details screen, select the transaction, select end of list, enter relevant information, accept party details, accept bill wise details and select the interest account. Here I have selected interest income and accept the transaction. Now if you see the ledger account of the client, the balance has increased to the extent of the voucher that we have just created. Here for the sake of simplicity, I have not considered GST and TDS provisions while creating voucher for interest income. If you are a GST registered person and if TDS provisions are applicable to you, then consider these parameters while creating voucher to account interest income. That's all I have for you in this video. Hope this was helpful. If you have enjoyed this episode, you may like and share the video. Thank you for watching.